and all right, y'all. This is fantastic. We I'm have happy. Pre live, it's now. a great day. The it's call a great is going day to be five minutes. And We're six going minutes. Live for just a few short moments. But I so want to know who's on this call. You're on the pre live call. Call me. We're from here at Air Earth Fruits Yogurt, uh, our newest business partner. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys see what the place looks like from the outside. And this is a yogurt place, and they have everything here. They have low fat, no fat, non dairy. I mean, that's where we are today. We're gonna be doing a live call on location here. We are set up live at the Earth Fruits. And over there, you have Ray Hendrickson and Mariko Turner. They're already on the call. National Director, so, soon to be Senior Vice President Mariko Turner Turner just closed a significant we'll live credit card right processing deal somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,500 accounts. We're hanging out live in uh, one of our brand new business partners' facilities. If you look at this place, it's pristine. Everything is stainless steel. It's new. It's pretty. It smells good. It's like a experience. It's like a Starbucks experience just with ice cream, organic, great flavors. Follow me over here. Let me introduce you to some of the flavors. <laughs> So over here we have Amazon Dark Chocolate. Magnificent. If you like chocolate, you're going to love Amazon Dark Chocolate. Then you have Rainforest Vanilla. Rainforest Vanilla, I think, is my favorite one thus far, but I still got a whole fleet to try. You've got Vanilla Custard right here. This was good. I think this was Mariko's favorite. That's my right? favorite one right here, mixed with this banana. Bananarama. And look at the size of the cups, man. This is like going to the electric chair, you kidding me? Great, great, wholesome food. Planet, pomegranate. Is this a black owned business? It is, it is. And there's the illustrious business owner right there. Our new business partner, Mr. Paul Josephs. I believe that's his last name, did I say that right? That's correct, awesome. Paul awesome. Josephs. You wanna tell us a little bit about the establishment? Well, welcome everyone, glad to be here. Um, hope you like yogurt. And if you don't try our yogurt, we have the best around. Uh, we opened August 2013, and um, we want to help this community grow and develop, and that's our mission here, and help these young people survive, And because it's a tough world there, and they need to know what they're going to be exposed to once they leave here. So anyway, I uh, hope you have a great day, and thank you. Man, that's some awesome stuff, y'all. This is black-owned and operated establishment, and I just want to show y'all what it looks like. I mean, this is top-notch stuff that we got here. and. Not only did he come into the business, he's switching over all of these electricity accounts, switching over all this credit card accounts, switching over coffee accounts. It's some good stuff. Hey, listen, we got about three minutes before we go live on the call, so we're still pre-live. We're still pre-live, right? Count down to live. I want you guys to see where we are, what we're doing. We pulled up outside of the establishment. So I just, uh, there's the Bentley out there, and... Uh, Nice to, next to the nice uh, Mercedes, we parked here, we're at the Fairwood Shopping Center, and we're about to go live, y'all, we're about to go live. So listen, we don't just have it sitting in the garage, it's a working vehicle. And this is the establishment, we're at the Earth Fruits. We got a couple of people coming over, uh, and uh, we listen, we got a 20% discount for anybody who's coming over. So this is, <laughs> this is Five Links Ground Central right now, Earth Fruits. And uh, there you see Mariko Turner, and uh, it's just a beautiful place. I'm sorry it's not as sunny as we would have liked it today. Uh, we can control a lot of things, but we can't control the weather just yet. So for those of you who want to dial in, you can dial in on the call, or you can listen in uh, on this uh, Facebook Live. Either way, either way. All right, so I'm going back inside, and I think it's just about 12 o'clock. Is it 12 o'clock yet? Another two minutes to go? No, we got about another three minutes to go. We're going to get right. started. So we're going to go live. We're going to go live. Uh, we're going live in three minutes. So all of you who are on, you're on a few minutes live. We got Ray Hendrickson. He's on the boards. What's people up, family? Are, people are calling. Hey, Ray Hendrickson, can you show people the number to dial if they Absolutely. want to call in? Yeah. Right? So we got a lot of people who call in every day at lunch. They love the Facebook Live because they can, they can actually see this later on. So there's the phone number, 641-715, you gotta move that mouse for me, 715-3670, the pin code 885-200-POUND. There's a replay number in case you wanna dial back in after the call. Uh, on the replay number, it is the same pin code, right, Ray Andrews? Yes, sir. 
All right, so dial the 641-715-3669, and then just dial the same PIN code, the 885-200-POUND, okay? So there's our website, uh, fivelinkspaysme.com, and there's my email address in case anybody uh, needs to get in contact with me for any reason. And uh, I'll put my phone number up there again as well later. But this is where we are. We're going live in just about two minutes. We thank all of you for joining us today. We're having the time of our lives. Truly, truly, truly. So Mariko Turner is out there. He's queuing up the call. And I, I gotta tell you, our call from yesterday, we had 1,400 viewers. 1,400 viewers were on yesterday's call. Right now, Friday's call uh, has the highest number of viewers. Friday's call had 4,700 viewers. I think we're gonna start getting sponsors for our noon call. <laughs> Maybe sponsored and brought to you by Earth, Earth Yogurt. Right? So again, exactly. if you guys want something healthy, low fat, no fat, no dairy, uh, no no sugar, no calories, no nothing, you come on down to Earth Fruits and you can get something. So Mariko Turner's out here and uh, we're going to be going live now. Maybe if he comes a little closer you can hear him. Our illustrious leader, Platinum Senior Vice President Thomas the Maestro Felder, will be at the helm of it all. He will be guiding us and navigating us down the path we need to get to to financial freedom. This young gentleman right here, young, very, very young, used to be one of the chief attorneys for Black Entertainment Television, turned multimillionaire and best selling author for a book called Redefining the American Dream. And let me tell you, this gentleman has not only taken the, 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 the bull by the horns, but he has redefined the American dream, and he's helping so many other people along the way. Listen, if you don't believe this opportunity is real, then I, listen, let me encourage you to please just sit down, listen, open your mind, open your heart, get a pen and pad, and write down some information that could help you too live a better life. My name is National Director Mariko Turner for the awesome and incredible Team TNT. Welcome to Winning Wednesday. We are at Earth Fruits Yogurt today, and we're about to start showing out in just a few short moments. Tune in, stay tuned. But I want to know who's on the line right now and where are you calling from? Who's on the call? You know, you know what I love about this business, y'all? Awesome, awesome. We awesome. actually yeah. came out to get yogurt. And when we came out to get yogurt, we ended up signing yes, up the guy from the yogurt place for right? his credit card yes, account. Welcome he said it just made sense. So then after the credit card account, we asked him for his energy account. Oh, and after the energy account, we told him, I said, listen, either we could get paid on your stuff or you could get paid on your stuff. Why don't you just join the business? I mean, this was an easy, easy conversation. He's got like That's nine refrigerators that he right got to keep on the all the time to keep the ice cream so cold. Listen, and um, we just got an awesome opportunity. We don't go out of our way to do this business. We just do this business while we're on our way. All right? So a lot of people are joining us now online. Tons of people are joining us on the phone. Uh, you guys just stand by. I believe he's uh, just welcoming people. Who are who are dialing in? Yes, sir. We're waiting for people right. to get their few minutes free. of break time from, from their boss. From so that's what's free. going on. So who else do we have on the There's call the Bentley over there in the background. Exactly and we're in the beautiful the Fairwood parking lot center, right? There's the gym over there. Uh, you know, that's where we are. If you guys want to come by, anybody wants to come by, uh, we're going to give you a 20% discount at Earth Fruits Yogurt. We wish the sun was out, but I don't control the sun, unfortunately. Don't control the sun. So we're going live. We're going live. We're going live. Hey, Jersey, checking in. Thank you so much. Thanks, Florida, checking in. We appreciate you. I see Minnesota's on the line. And where are you calling from? We're about to get this thing, this thing turned all the way up because it's all or nothing. <laughs> Who's on the call? Augusta. Augusta's on the line. Awesome, awesome. Who else do we have on the call? Stephanie, Stephanie, welcome to the call. Who else do we have on today? DC's in the house. 
Awesome, 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 awesome. You said DC's in the house? DC. These are her songs. Cali's on. Now, Lucy, you want to go ahead and tell us five, four, three, two, one. So listen, you hear music in the background. That is the music of Mariko Turner. So every day we're going to feature a different song. It's called All or Nothing. It's called All or Nothing. Oh, VA's in the house. Winning Wednesday is Winning Wednesday. And today, <laughs> we are at a, listen, we're at a yogurt shop today. The name of the yogurt shop is Earth Fruits Yogurt, located in Bowie, Maryland. And listen, if you're in Bowie, Maryland right now, if you're in Baltimore, if you're anywhere in Maryland, you need to get up here right now to get some of this ice cream. We're here with our new business partner and our friend, Mr. Paul Joseph. He is the owner of this beautiful establishment. <laughs> We're at the Fairwood Green Shopping Center. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So listen, and it's right across from Gold's Gym. So get on over here and get you some ice cream. Listen, we're excited to be on this call today. And listen, just like a many of you who are on this call today, you, you're looking for an opportunity. Someone invited you to this call. Someone said, hey, get on Facebook Live and take a look at what these three gentlemen are doing. There are some six and seven figure earners who are helping people march their way into financial freedom. I'm excited to be on this call today. We just want to say thank you for joining us today. We don't say thank you for joining us because you got on to listen to us talk about the opportunity, but we want to say thank you because you took a step towards another realm for your life. You took the opportunity to say, you know what? I've been hoping, I've been wishing, and I've been praying for an opportunity, and someone invited me to this call. Someone invited you to this live presentation on Facebook today, and you said, I owe it to myself just to take a listen to the opportunity, just to take a listen to the information. With that being said, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about myself. Like I said before, my name is Mariko Turner. I'm a national director for the awesome and incredible team, TNT. And a year and a half ago, I was introduced to this business opportunity through a gentleman that I have a tremendous amount of respect for. And what was odd about that phone call is that when I had pocket dialed him, I had been looking for an opportunity. My back was against the wall for many of years and I was in, in financial straits. I had come from growing up living with a single mother who took care of me, a single mom who had given up her dreams because she at one point was a jazz singer and a model. And let me tell you, growing up in Louisville, Kentucky, you know, there's not so too many options, you know, growing up and looking to make some additional income for yourself. And my mother, she said, you know what? I was taught to go to school, get a good education, get a good job. I'll make a lot of money and I'll be successful. And I want the best for my child. So every single day she would get up at the crack of dawn. And listen, it was dark outside when she used to get up. Three o'clock in the morning, getting ready for work, making my breakfast, making my lunch, just to make sure that I had the, 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 the nourishment that I would need to get my day started correct. And I used to watch her zip back and forth in the house, exhausted, because let me tell you, she was not only going to work for that morning, but she was also going to school. She would dart out in the middle of the morning and, and walk two and a half, three blocks to a bus stop, standing there by herself to get on a bus to go to go to work. Then she would catch another bus later on to go to school and another bus back to work and another, and another bus at night back home just so she could kiss me on the cheek and say goodnight. And I watched my mother do this for a number of years until I was you know, in my, my later teenage years. And I, and I said to myself, at some point, she's gonna burn out. At some point, she's gonna have a breaking point. Many of you are at that point right now. Many, many of you have been at that breaking point for over 10 years. Some of you have been in, at that point for over 20 years. When is enough enough? It's, it, it's, listen, we have to make the decision to do something different. We have to make the decision to seek and go find the thing that will help us live a better life. So just like you, I was searching because I watched my mother work herself into exhaustion. One morning my mother woke up and she was so tired, it was a Saturday, and she didn't even realize it was a weekend. She was getting ready to go to work, and she was exhausted. When I mentioned to her that it was a Saturday, she broke down crying. She was like, God, I'm exhausted. I can't even keep up with the days of the week. I couldn't stand seeing my mother do that. 
So recognizing and realizing that I had a talent for singing and songwriting, I started entering myself into local talent contests in my hometown. And I started to win every talent contest that I got into. And I don't think it was just because I was a good singer and I could dance and all those great things, but I just really believed that my back was just against the wall. I just wanted to give my mother some relief. I just wanted to give her some rest. I wanted her to be able to fulfill her dream. She was going back to school to become a nurse. And she loved it. She loved helping people. I said, if I could help my mother financially so she could quit her job and just go to school and come home and rest and relax, do her homework, and not have to wake up the next day chasing down a bus to get to work on time, how much better quality of life would she have? So I decided to give every dime that I made to my mother. And listen, it wasn't until I was discovered by a gentleman who helped me embark my life onto a new plateau of music. It wasn't until I was discovered by the late great rapper Heavy D that I really started utilizing my talents so I could help my mother get away from working that job. And I just said to myself, I said, wow, if I could just really get this thing going, if I could just really get out here and make some serious money, I could call my mother one day and say, mom, you can quit your job, I've got your back. How many of you all have ever said that to yourself that you would love to call your parents and be able to say, hey, mom, dad, quit your job, I've got your back. That was my overall goal, that was my mission. That's all I wanted to do. I later on started hanging around the likes of other producers like Teddy Riley and Sean P. Diddy Combs and Dave Jim Hall and all these other producers. And I said, if I could do what these guys do, because they seem to be having a lot better than most artists. And don't get me wrong, I love being a music artist. I traveled with the likes of Gerald LaBerg and Tony Braxton and, and Babyface and all the other greats and Jamie Foxx. And I said, man, but being a music producer, these guys have their life to themselves. I want to have my own time to myself, and it looks like they're making a lot of money. That's what I want to do. So I started producing music, and I ended up scoring a couple of movies. I ended up getting my music license down. I ended up going to work for the number one production team in the world with Mr. Timberland's camp himself. And then I found out later on that my mother had, had become terminally ill. She had to quit working. She could no longer go on and fulfill her dreams. Broke my heart. I had to start picking up some of the some of the bills in my mother's house because she was unable to work any longer. And, and, and then by that time I was married and with children. And I was not only taking care of my household, I was taking care of her household as well. And I said to myself, I gotta obtain more. I've gotta do more for my family. I've gotta do more for my mother. But at the same time, I was at a breaking point in my life. Because what I thought was going to get me to that next financial secular in my life, it wasn't paying out the way I thought it was. It wasn't happening the way I had envisioned it in my mind. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain something to you. If you ever want to be great, if you ever really want to know how business works and how to make money, you've you got to get around the right group of people. And it's not just getting around people who are making it happen because you see it from your perspective, but you really got to get on the inside and find out what that circle of influence, how that circle of influence works for you. And if it's the right fit for you. I saw that my circle of influence wasn't the right fit for me. So I walked away. And when I walked away, a lot of my friends thought I was crazy. They said, you've lost your mind. You're walking, walking away from working with the largest production camp in history. But I said, you don't understand. There's something else out there for me. There's another group of people who feel the same way I do, who are looking, who are hoping, and who are wishing and praying for better opportunity. And I'm so glad that I started to look. I'm so glad that a year and a half ago, I pocketed out a good friend of mine. I'm so glad that when I pocketed out him that I was willing to listen to the information he was sharing with me. See, just like you, I was on a phone call listening to a gentleman speak about a business opportunity. Just like you're listening or you're on Facebook Live right now watching us, I was doing the same thing because something on the inside of you has been saying there has got to be more out here in the rents. And listen, National Director Ray Henderson says this all the time. If you've been looking for an opportunity and God brings you one, 
And then you turn around and say, ah, it's not for me. It's not just his belief, but it's also my belief now that you don't have the right to ask him for another blessing. Because who are you to say what type of blessing or what form of blessing a blessing should come in? You got to exercise all options. You got to have an open mind, an open heart. You got to be willing and ready to receive the information. You can do it just like being in church. When you go to church and you sit down, do you sit there and say, uh, what's he talking about today? He don't know what he's talking about. How's he, how's he a pastor? I don't, listen, who do you, who are you to have the right to say what's right and what's wrong? When God is delivering a blessing to you. Listen, I'm not trying to preach to you today. All I'm saying is have an open heart and open mind. Because this information, information literally saved my life. And the gentleman that God orchestrated around me, I couldn't have asked for a better group of, of men and women. I mean, alpha lions, alpha lioness. People who are ready to go out and fight the good fight for financial freedom. People who don't just care about their households. They care about everyone's household that's out here. Not just in America, but in the world. So I'm going to introduce to you two gentlemen that I love, respect, and admire with all that I am. I love them with all the fiber of my being. These gentlemen have helped me make a significant amount of income to help live a better life. And it's because of this opportunity that 30, over 30 days ago, I was able to be home with my mother for nine days before she passed away. To spend the quality of time that I needed to spend with her before God called her home. And I truly believe the only reason why my mother let go was because she knew that I was all right. Mm. She knew that I was going to be okay. She knew that finally her only child had a tremendous amount of respect for her. This gentleman knows 100% about what it takes to succeed in business. He's had an awful lot of success in a very short period of time. He spends his days helping people just like you and I earn additional income, and he's having a lot of fun doing it. I want to bring to you, introduce to you, someone that has helped me tremendously. He's my friend. He's my brother. He's the number one trainer in all of network marketing, hands down. My friend, my brother, national director, soon to be senior vice president. Some of you all may know him as Ray, but we know him as Ray, the sensei Superman Hendrickson. Sir, are you on this call? I am on the call. I am on the call. Bro, I got to give you some love for that. I felt what you were saying. I feel better now. And as a result of which, I'm ready to go. Listen, I'm excited. Today is Winning Wednesday. And what better place to be than in the company of your friends and business partners in this magnificent facility getting organic frozen yogurt is good for the body, is good for the soul. I'm excited to be here. We've been doing this Facebook Live thing for a couple of days. It's taken off like a phoenix out of the ashes, and I'm excited to be here in your company today. You know, I, I listen to Mr. Turner's story day in and day out, and every day that we get a chance to rehearse that story in our subconscious minds and our conscious ears, it really rings a bell because every one of us has gone through or will go through some of the same challenges that he's gone through. The question is, how do you answer those challenges? So when you take a huge step back and you look at your life, you look at the time that you've already spent, you look at the time that's ahead, my question always distills down to what is it that you really, really want? What is it that you're ultimately going to accomplish? Where are you ultimately going to find yourself? What is the final destination? What is the ultimate destination? How have you planned your life so that at the end of it, you'll be able to look back and have absolutely no regrets? Or are you just going along to get along? Are you just taking it as it comes? Are you, have, have you just accepted the reality that somebody else has imposed on your life? I want you to just take a quick step back. Yeah, we're gonna to get to talking about the business opportunity in just a minute. But I just want you to take a little bit of a step back. We do this exercise from time to time to kind of force you into thinking about what it is that you want for your life. And if you never get around to thinking about what you want for your life, then you'll take whatever is given, given to you or whatever's thrown your way. I believe, and I heard it said, that if you don't stand up for something, you'll fall for anything. So what is it that you really want? If you didn't have to worry about bills, if you didn't have the family issues, if you didn't have the school issues or the job issues or the church issues, if you had no issues at all, 
what would your life be like? When would you wake up in the morning? Would you still get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to catch a 4.30 in the morning bus to travel into town? I mean, a, a few years ago, I live in New York, so it's very expensive, cost of living, and people wanted to have their own homes, but they couldn't afford homes in New York, so they bought homes in the Poconos, three hours away. Can you imagine commuting, getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning to get on a bus, a plane, a train, getting in an automobile to travel three hours to go to work, work eight hours, travel three hours back? You don't have any time, energy, or inclination to spend time with your family. You're so exhausted. They send you home to take a nap so that you can turn right around and go back to work. Try to do that for 30, 40, 50 years and then retire and not have enough money at the end of it all the same way you didn't have enough money on the journey through. I mean, if we really think about it, if you were willing to follow me just for a second and if you were willing to take off the pressures that you have currently leave your chip on the chip rack I know we all carry chips around we've got egos the size of stadiums and we're big and bad but do me a favor put your chip on a chip rack you can get it on the way out so even if you came in with a chip this is a chip free zone do me a favor just follow me for a second let's just say this is the day you graduated high school let's just say this is the day you graduated college and I approached you because I was a recruiter for a fortune 100 or fortune 500 companies we all agree that working for those companies were what we call good jobs, a government job, a government job, a good job, a stable job, a job that you'll spend 20 years at. Just follow me just for a second, just for a second. I'm only going to be a second. Just follow me for a second. What if I said to you, now that you've graduated and you're ready for employment, I'm going to offer you a job. And I'm going to offer you the kind of job that the rest of the world is going to covet. The kind of job that's going to give you some prestige. The kind of job that allows you to put your name on the door. The kind of job that you can brag about when you go back to the high school reunion in 20 years or the college reunion in 20 years. You'll be able to say, I work for Abercrombie, Abercrombie & Fitch. Or I work for at and I work for IBM. You know how we do when we have these titles and we get so excited about the titles, but there's nothing involved with the title if you can't finance your lifestyle. But let's just say I'm the Fortune 500, Fortune 100 recruiter, and I make you a promise. I say, I'm going to give you a job that allow you to work for me for 40 years of your life. You're going to come in when I say come in. You're going to go home when I say go home. If it's mandatory overtime, you have no, nothing to say about it. I know you just had a brand new baby, but it's mandatory. You understand what I'm saying? It's mandatory. I'm going to make you ask me permission to go to the bathroom. I'm going to make you ask permission to go on break. I'm going to make you ask permission to go on vacation, even though you've earned the days. I'm going to pay you just enough that you can have a few shiny objects, but never enough to get out from under. You're always going to have credit card debt. You're always going to have student loan debt. You're always going to have some form of debt, some sort of bondage, some sort of mortgage that's going to always be pressing on your right shoulder so that you always recognize the value of my job. I'm always going to sign your checks before you do, which tells you I'm the boss. I'm the master. I get to do for you or do for you or do as I see fit as long as I sign your checks first. So I just want you to recognize this. 40 years you're going to work for me. 40 years. I'm never gonna pay you enough for you to finance your dreams. The passions that you had from the time you were a youthful you. The passions that you would talk about all day with your friends and family members on the playground. You're not gonna get a chance to finance any of those passions. At the end of the 40 years, I'm gonna pay you 40%, which is a good pension, of what was never enough to begin with. And you're, by hope, by hook or crook, Hopefully you will have saved enough money to finance the remaining years until you die. Otherwise, 70% of America relies on friends, family, and the government to help support them in their final years. Now, if I was to put that deal on the table, how many of you would legitimately take it? How many of you would say, now that's a good deal? You mean I could work for 40 years? I could struggle the rest of my life? I'll never get out from under. I'll retire and get 40% of what was never enough to begin with. And you think that's a good deal. How many of you guys think that? Amazing. But everyone has accepted that plan. Well, wait a minute. Here's my question. Who decided the options for you? I'm going to tell you who decided the options. The same people that hire you to fill all the boardrooms of corporate America. The same people that hire you to fill all the factories of corporate America. The same people responsible for making the residual income off your efforts are the same people that from the time you become three or four years old, you start hearing things like, go to school, get an education in order to get a job. Can I show you something? I wanna show you something. Can you pan over there to that guy? That's one of our newest business partners. And he decided 
that the option of going to school to get an education to get a job was not going to be the only options that he was going to be up against. So guess what he did? He stepped out on faith. He invested in himself. He opened up a business. He signed the checks. He makes all the money. He creates his own financial future. And every one of you were born to be free. If all that you have are the options that everybody else gives you, then you don't really have any options at all. And so here I am, a kid from the South Bronx who is supposed to be a statistic, who is supposed to be dead, who's supposed to be in jail, who's supposed to have a gang of illegitimate children, and my single mom, growing up in the projects, taking care of me, said, son, if you want to go further, if you want to go farther, if you want to do more in life, if you want to be successful, you got to go to school, wait a minute, get a good job, hmm, you make a lot of money, and you'll be successful. So now, if it didn't work for my mom, why would she feel so comfortable telling me that? Because that was the only option they gave her. So that's what I did. I went to one of the top three public schools in the nation, Brooklyn Technical High School. It's one of those public schools, but you can't get in until you take a test. It's the most private public school I've ever heard of. I took the test, I got in, did well, went up to the Marine Corps, one of the few African Americans you'll ever meet with a top secret security status. Ooh. I took those credentials, went off to a historically black university in Richmond, Virginia, studying not one but two majors, physics and engineering. Because my mom said now, if I go to school and get a good education, I'll find a good job, one of them good jobs. I'll make a lot of money be successful. Did all those things. When I finally got out into corporate America, here's what I kept hearing. Man, you got a great looking resume, you just don't have any experience. We can't give you this six figure job fresh out of college. I spent 21 years in preparation for it. I got more credentials than any of my other colleagues and or counterparts. And if you won't give me the job because I don't have any experience, then how do I get the job to get the experience I need in order to get the job because I don't have any experience? It's almost like a catch-22. And while we're running around in circles trying to get the experience, life is passing us by. I got $20,000 in debt. Back then, that was an awful lot of money. I'm trying to live somewhere that's not roach-infested because I'm not going back to the hood, the project. Call me a sellout if you want to. And I try to eat three times a day. Surely you like to eat three square ones. And so I had to take a job for a while. And that's what I discover most people find themselves in the midst of. They take a job for a while, supposed to be six months, 12 months, 18 months. It turns into 12 years or 20 years or 30 years. And then when they look back the tunnel of time, they wonder how they got here. Because they accepted someone else's options as the only options for their life. In September 23rd, 2013, I just got to the point where I was up to here. You ever get to that point where you're just up to here? You're just sick and tired of being sick and tired. You wake up every Monday morning, you go, ah, how many more Mondays can I do this? I mean, Friday night, we're excited because we got a weekend off. Saturday night, we run errands and do laundry all day. We party a little bit, maybe for some of y'all. Maybe you go to worship on Saturday. Maybe you go to worship on Sunday. But the sun starts to go down on Sunday, and you get that pain in your stomach. Like giants jumping up and down in your stomach with golf shoes. Because you know Sunday means it's the prelude to Monday. And Monday means back to work. I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. I didn't want to end up like dear old mom. My mom was my hero. She worked two 20-year careers, still retired penniless. Didn't want that to happen to me. So I knew I had to do something different in order to get something different. It's a simple recipe. So I started looking over here, looking over there. I was looking for opportunity. And you know, it's pretty amazing how the universe works. When you legitimately start looking in earnest, in transparency, in honesty, with an open heart. Do you know that you will often find what you're looking for? Do you realize that? And so it just so happens that on September 23rd, 2013, a friend of mine called me on the phone, asked me a very simple question, had no idea it was gonna change my life. He said, Ray, do you still keep your eyes open for opportunity to make additional income? And I'm thinking, how did he know? I decided to take a look, not because I was so enamored with the idea of a business opportunity, but he was my friend. I loved him, I trusted him, I admired him, I respected him. We grew up together, we went to the eighth grade together. He was one of the people that I shared some of those distinct passions with as a child. 
And so because I had such admiration for him, I knew he wouldn't put me in harm's way. I figured at least, why not take a look? Look, if it don't work, I go always go back to being hardworking and broke. I was pretty good at that. So I decided to take a look, and lo and behold, this simple little business opportunity that I decided to take advantage of, it changed my life. I mean, not just figuratively, it literally changed my life. Let me tell you just a little bit about the opportunity. It's through a company called Five Links Enterprises. I know many of you haven't heard of Five Links Enterprises. It's not a household name quite yet. But here's what I discovered in my preliminary research. Do you know they're the number one customer acquisition company in the United States? Do you know they're the number one corporate business entity in Rochester, New York, beating out companies like Xerox, Paychex, and Bausch and Long? Did you know they've been featured in just about every major business magazine that comes across the newsstand to include Wall Street Journal, MSNBC News, Your Business at Home Magazine, Success From Home Magazine, Inc. 500, 5000. They've appeared in it nine consecutive times. And the only other company that has done that on North American soil is a company that you are very familiar with called Microsoft. Do you know that we're a $162 million debt-free company? Do you know we just completed a, a partnership with a significant $700 million plus firm? Do you know we're on our way to a billion dollars right now? And even if you've never heard of Five Links, I bet you heard of some of the companies that we're in partnership with. We partner with all the major players that do cable, internet, home phones, cell phones, gas, electricity, home heating oil, health insurance, credit card processing, merchant services, I mean the cream of the crop. Companies like AT&T and Verizon and T-Mobile and Sprint, Nextel and GE, DirecTV, Dish Network, Comcast, Xfinity, Cox, TouchSuite, Cablevision, OptOnline, Blue Cross, Blue Shield. Now you've heard of those companies, haven't you? Let me tell you why you've heard of those companies. You've heard of those companies not necessarily because they're the best at what they do. You've heard of a lot of those companies because they're experts in advertising. You see them on TV, you see them on the billboards, you hear them on the radio. But here's my question. When was the last time you were watching your favorite episode of Scandal, you saw a commercial for T-Mobile, you threw your dinner on the table, you dove for the phone because you had to make a phone call before the commercial went off? Never, right? So why do they run these commercials? I'll tell you why T-Mobile runs their commercials, because Sprint runs commercials. And Sprint runs commercials because AT&T runs commercials. And AT&T because Verizon runs commercials. But everybody knows Nobody sits and watches commercials. When a commercial gets up, comes on, don't you get up and go pop? When a commercial comes on, don't you check your cell phone to see who texts you between station breaks? When it comes on, don't you get up and check on the children? The only time statistically average American consumer watches commercial is during the Super Bowl. And that's because you're looking for some sort of entertainment credit. So now here they are spending millions of dollars, not getting any new customers, and your rates are going through the roof. Do you know why? They write the check, but guess who pays the bill? You got it, you do. And so with the advent of social media, 2004, this young snotty-nosed kid drops out of Harvard, starts a social media experiment called Facebook, becomes a billionaire in less than a decade without running one single solitary commercial. Big business goes, whoa. If this guy can make a billion dollars without running commercials, then maybe we ought to change our marketing strategy. But in order for us to use social media, we need to partner with the number one customer acquisition company in the country that uses social media. What company, pray tell, do you think that is? Aha, Five Links Enterprises. Here's the deal that we've worked out. We promise to get them all the customers that they want for free. For free, why free? Because the moment you eliminate expensive advertising, the rates fall dramatically. Now, they're in a unique position to pass the savings back to the consumer. So the consumer who uses cable, internet, home phone, cell phone, gas, electricity, home heating oil, health insurance, gets to save 15 to 20 percent on average. Sometimes more, sometimes less, depending upon where they live in the United States because tax and tariffs vary from state to state. But they're guaranteed some sort of savings and or benefit. It really makes them happy. The other condition is we get 50 cents to $11 every time they pay their bills. So now here I am in New York. I don't trust nobody, I don't believe nobody, I don't even like nobody. My children can't answer the door, my wife can't answer the door, don't nobody come to my house to borrow sugar. If you want sugar, go to the local foodway. That's just how I roll, I'm from the hood. 
So now, usually, when something sounds too good to be true, it is. That's why I did my preliminary research. That's why I checked with the Better Business Bureau and found they have an A-plus credit rating. That's why I checked with the Federal Trade Commission and saw that they were governed and sanctioned by the FTC in good standing. So don't let Uncle Bobo that sits on the porch with a Kool-Aid stain t-shirt talk to you about business. If he has never made it off the porch, how do you think he's gonna help you make it to the palace? Help me, somebody. So if you're gonna research our company, use credible business sources. After I did the preliminary research, I said, listen, the company's viable, it makes sense, they're documented, what do I got to lose? Let me give it a shot. Before I was willing to tell anybody, I wanted to see if it worked for me. I wanted to test drive it, I wanted to kick the tires a little bit. So I got involved and I switched all of the services in my own house. My cable, internet, home phone, cell phone, you get the picture. Started saving close to $200 a month. And let me tell you what I remember, I could hear mom's voice in the back of my head. Son, a penny saved is a penny earned. I just gave myself a $200 a month raise by simply switching over my services from name brand companies to name brand companies. Watch this now. When was the last time you got a $200 raise? Never or never? Well, let me ask you this. How much are you overpaying with your services that you use on a regular basis? Because you are overpaying. The moment I started saving is the moment I recognized this business work. And if that weren't enough, at the end of the month, they sent me a check in the mail for all the bills I had paid. So you mean to tell me they paid me to save money on bills I'm gonna get paid, I'm gonna have to pay anyway? Precisely. At that point, ladies and gentlemen, it became a personal mission to help everybody that I cared about save money because everybody wants to save money. I would simply go to my friends and family members because we don't set up booths at the mall. We don't go door to door. And we don't parade up and down the street with a placard and a bullhorn hollering discounted services. We talk to the people we've talked to our whole lives. So I went to those same individuals. I asked a very simple question. Here's the question. You want to hear it? If I could show you a way to save a few thousand dollars a year on the services you use every day, what you want me to tell you? Do you know what an alarming number of those people said? Yes! I would simply send them to my website. They would choose the service they wanted. They choose the service provider they wanted. They would choose the promotional discounted rate that they wanted. And every time they turned the light on, flushed the toilet, took a shower, cooked a meal, washed the dish, opened the fridge, used the microwave, watched TV, surfed the internet, make a phone call, or send a text, now I was getting paid. Pretty crazy stuff. For the first time in my adult life, I found a business opportunity that actually works. Now, it became a second mission to tell all of the people that I cared about, look, there's another way to make money. All our lives, we were given one option, go to school, get an education, get a job. Well, now we found another option. And here's something that you gotta recognize. Wealthy people don't teach their children, go to school, get an education, to get a job. They teach them a completely different formula, which is why they grow up to perpetuate wealth. Mm, you ever think about that? So I said that I was gonna be the one for my family. I was going to be the Neo for my family. All you needed was a Morpheus. My friend who introduced me to this business couldn't be the one for my family because he was the one for his family. I needed to be that one. So all it takes is one. It only took one Gates. It only took one DuPont. It only took one Astor. It only took one Obama. It's only going to take one for your family. Will you be the one? If the phone is ringing and you're the only person that hears it, just maybe, just maybe the phone is for you. That's right. And so I got started with this opportunity and it literally changed my life. I was in the midst of a financial crisis. I had to come up with 10 grand in my first 30 days. And lo and behold, I want y'all to know that heaven is still in the prayer answering business. Because in 30 days in this business, working with the right company at the right time, moving the right products and services, and the right team of people, I came up with precisely what I needed to get my children into private school. And had it not been for this business and my business team, they'd be in public school today. And if you know anything about public school, it just ain't good. Doesn't your family deserve the best? Mine does. Doesn't your children, don't your children deserve the best? Don't your parents deserve the best? Don't you deserve the best? Well, if you do, if you agree with any one of those questions, what are you prepared to do? The options that were initially given to you are not the only options. In fact, getting a job is the antithesis of creating wealth. That's why we're standing in one of our new business partners' 
personal business. Now think about this. If he has a business and he's making money, why would he want another business? Do you know Warren Buffett says only fools have one income stream? That's what Warren Buffett said. Y'all, you can throw rocks, but don't throw them at me. Warren Buffett said that. And if you've got a job, then you're extremely limited, not just by the one income stream, but by the fact that someone else controls your future. Now look, I know I haven't given you enough to make a decision. I recognize that. There's some things you need to see. You need to see exactly what we do. You need to see exactly how we do it. You need to see exactly how we get paid. And you need to get your questions answered. I'm gonna go have some ice cream. I'm gonna go have some frozen yogurt. It's, it's so good. It's organic. It's good for the body. It's good for the soul. We've got an assortment of different flavors. If you don't know anything about frozen yogurt, you need to come down to this place, Earth Fruits Yogurt, and get you a taste. You have never, ever, not never had frozen yogurt done right until you've been here. I want you to go check out this video www.the number five, L I N X as in X ray, P A Y S as in Sally.com. Take a look at the video. It's going to fortify you with the information you need to determine if you're ready to take the next step. Get back with the person who introduced you to this call. Just determine what the next steps are going to be. You're going to either say, I've seen it, I'm interested, I want to save money. I've seen it, I'm interested, I want to make money. And we'll help you get to the other side of whatever financial challenges you're in the midst of. Or maybe you just want some financial relief. Whatever your situation is, I'm pretty confident without fear of successful contradiction that we can help. Without any further ado, I want to introduce you to the person responsible for helping me make that significant five figures in my first 30 days. And let me tell you just a little bit about him. He comes from the South Bronx just like I did. We talk the same language. We understand the same challenges. We even walk similarly. He's my business partner, but he's become my friend. He's the former chief attorney for BET, Black Entertainment Television, and was responsible for inking the largest deal in the history of media acquisition, which helped Bob Johnson become one of the six African-American billionaires on the planet. He's a best-selling author of a book called Redefining the American Dream, and he's a certified seven-figure earner. And guess what? I have a tremendous amount of respect for him because he literally knows 100% of what it takes to succeed in business. He's had enormous success in a very abbreviated amount of time, and he's made all of his money helping people just like you and I create above average income, and he's having a world-class time doing it. We're hanging out in Earth Fruits Yogurts. We're having yogurt with our business partner, and we're having a, just a, you guys gotta come out to this place. If you can't come today, come tomorrow or the day after. We expect to be here doing this Facebook Live New Lunch and Learn. But without any further ado, let me introduce to some and present to others the number one money earner in the history of our company at his position. He hails from Bowie, Maryland, Platinum Senior Vice President, soon to be Double Platinum Thomas, the Maestro Felder. Maestro, are you on the line? Yes, I'm on the line. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Yes, sir. <laughs> Listen, everybody, if you're joining us today for the first time, either by phone or by Facebook Live, welcome to Freedom University. Welcome to an opportunity to learn what it's like to get to the other side of money. I'm grateful to be on the call with all of you today. And we've done a lot today. We started off with Mr. Mariko Turner, who is a award-winning singer, songwriter, producer, and he's bar none one of the most excellent people I've ever spent time with. And then we pivoted from Mr. Mariko Turner to Ray Hendrickson, who is the best trainer in all of network marketing, MLM, and he's just an all around good guy that can help you sort of run after your dreams and chase them down. I've got just a few minutes. And over the last few days, I've been talking to you about different products and different reasons why I looked at this business and why and how I transitioned from a six-figure income to a six-figure residual income. That's different. For all of you six-figure earners on this line who think that you're making too much money to be on the call, you stop working your job for 30 days and see what happens to your six figures. Stop working your job for 60 days and you'll be back in your mama's house. Stop working your job for 90 days, you'll be in the outhouse or a homeless shelter or in bankruptcy court or some other place. You are not making money till the money is reproducing itself without you. That's when you're making money. So I just, I don't have a lot of time today like yesterday. I just want, you guys follow me. I got my little whiteboard with me. 
I know you guys liked the whiteboard yesterday, so I got the whiteboard. For those of you who are on the phone today listening, I'm just going to tell you what I'm writing so you can follow. I want you to see why I looked at this business. You know, there are a lot of businesses I could have I could have done. You know, maybe I could have opened up an earth fruit yogurt, but I didn't have the kind of money that my business partner had. I had to just look around and see what I could do, right? So I made a line in the sand, and that's what you do when you're sick and tired. And I said, things I can do, right? And I started with maybe sell vacations, right? You getting this? Can you come over here and get this on the... I want them to see this because I know all of you at some point, you're trying to figure out how do I make a dollar out of 15 cents? So I thought about vacations. Then I thought about makeup. Then I thought about vitamins. Then I thought about juice. You know, the juice that comes from the Amazon. I thought about this. I mean, I really, I, I sat around and I thought about it. And then after the juice, I said, maybe coffee. And after coffee, I sat around and I thought about it and I said, maybe one of those Teflon girdles. I'm, I'm, I'm looking now, I'm looking to find something that might possibly work for me. So this was my, this was my, my, uh, my template, right? And I said, listen, if I don't have enough money to go to Six Flags, how am I going to sell somebody on a vacation that I can't afford to go on? Because most people, if they can't afford a vacation, they stay home and they have a staycation. You know, that's when you go to your in-laws house. So vacation for me was out, right? Nobody's flying if they can't afford a plane ticket. And then I said makeup. I said makeup is awesome, but then I lose one half of my market because most men don't wear makeup, right? So makeup for me is probably not an option. And most of my friends are brown skin. They, they have built in makeup. They already made up. They already got blush. They already got rouge. So makeup wasn't really an option. And then not to mention that people in a minute will go to Walmart or Walgreens and grab some makeup, right? So makeup for me was off the table. Why would I get something that only half of the people in America would get even if they could afford it? And then I said vitamins. I think vitamins are great. Vitamins A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, F. I think vitamins, I think the alphabet soup of vitamins is wonderful. But vitamins are intended to supplement a healthy diet, not replace it. So if I can't afford $100 worth of vitamins every week or every month, what would I do? You're right. I would go get some fresh apples. I would go get some fresh oranges for $2.49. And I'll get more vitamins out of a fresh orange than I would out of a bucket of vitamin C's. Are y'all with me? And I, I, I believe they got some strange science going on where they tell you you need different vitamins based on your blood type. But I'll leave that to Dr. Oz to resolve. All right, so vitamins are out, bag of apple uh, in, right? And I want organic apples. I want organic oranges. And then I said juice. You know, they got juice from the, from the Amazon or juice from the dark side of the moon. And I looked at the juice thing. And I look at the preservatives and the additives that goes into this juice. I looked at the sucrose, sucralose, that goes into the juice. And that stuff causes more problems than a little bit. Right? And I said, man, I can't have that juice. I said, I want God's juice. You know what God's Kool-Aid is? Good old H2O. So juice is out. Now I'm left with coffee. Now, 90% of the people out there who drink, uh, who don't drink water or who need to drink more drink coffee. A lot of people, they're, they're coffee addicts. They start their day with a cup of coffee. They can't talk to their spouse before they get a cup of coffee. They beat their kids for yelling before they get a cup of coffee. Their nerves are bad. They need coffee, 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 coffee. I got it. But here's the deal. If you lose your job tomorrow, are you going to go get Starbucks at $4.50 a cup? No or no. Right? So coffee is not really an option. Even though a lot of people drink it, they're always looking for a cheaper option. And most coffee that you get ain't healthy. Right? And even some of us who have medicinal coffee, it's just not a guarantee that I'm going to keep paying X number of dollars for coffee. So coffee is out. Now we got Teflon girdles.
Now, I understand girdles are great, girdles are wonderful, but you gotta say to yourself, how many girdles am I gonna get? Am I gonna get me a girdle every 30 days, right? Or do I get one girdle and I wear it until it's bursting at the seams, right? But what about this? What about if I lose my job? Am I just gonna let it all hang out? I think we will. I think the women will come up, no offense women, I think the men, I'll say men, then that way I'm safe. I think the men will come up with a new style called let it all hang out, right? Because nobody's gonna keep getting $50 girdles every single month. What I love about our business is the residual aspect of our business, meaning a check is gonna show up at our house every 30 days like clockwork. All right, so I'm done with this side of the, the list. I'm done with vacations and makeup and vitamins and juice and coffee and Teflon girdles. And I think what a, a great business would be if they had um, weaves. I think weaves would be awesome. People order that every so often, right? But again, we, we be out half of the, the population, right? You ain't got no hair. Mariko, you neither, right? <laughs> so we can cross off weaves. So why do I look at this business and why do I love it? I want y'all to pay attention. What we sell, we don't even sell, we share. Watch this. If you lost your job tomorrow, would you still keep your lights on? Electricity. Would you keep your lights on, yes or yes? Is that a yes? Yes. 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 Can I tell you something? When you stop paying your rent and your mortgage, the last thing you will cut off is the lights. The last thing you'll cut off is the refrigerator and the microwave and the toaster and the television. So electricity is one for us, one for electricity. What else would you keep if you lost your job tomorrow? Cable. Everybody who's unemployed right now is home catching up on scandal. Last year's season of Empire, they're catching up on the thing with the zombie movie. They're catching up on it because they're home and they got all the time in the world and they need their what? Cable. Cable. Right? So we offer that. What else do we offer, Thomas, that if you lost your job, people will keep paying for it? Great. I'm glad you asked. Gas. Right? You want hot water, don't you? You want to be able to cook on a gas stove, don't you? So gas is another option that we sell. Watch this. Health insurance. Can I tell you something? If you lost your job tomorrow, a lot of y'all would say, I'm not gonna pay my health insurance. But let that tooth get loose. Let, let you need a, a, your eyes to get checked or have a pain in your stomach or break a leg or an arm or some kind of issue come up, you're gonna go run into a what? A doctor or a doctor. So you're gonna keep that health insurance going even if you got the eBay everything in your garage. So health insurance, check or check? Check. check? check. Right? So I'm just dealing right now with one, two, three, four products that we offer, but guess what? I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. Now, every single day, everybody you know uses a credit card and debit card. So even if you lost your job, you can sell credit card machines through us through a company called TouchSuite, right? And if you sell these credit card machines through us, we're gonna pay you just about $200 per machine. You can sell five machines, sell one a week. One a week, sell five machines, you've made $1,000 a week. Now you're not even going back to work. Now you're not even thinking about going back to work. And you can sell these machines online while you're home with no job. Is this sweet? This is some good stuff. But watch this, we also do energy and we do commercial energy, right? I love the, the commercial portion of it because you can go to any establishment in 31 states and just say to them, let me give you a free evaluation. All you got to do is call the number, the 1-800 number, and say, who is responsible for your, your commercial energy account? Just ask them and tell them if I can show you a way to save money on your commercial energy, would you give me a try? I, the, our evaluation is free. Free. That don't cost nothing. And now you can get paid for the next three, five, or seven years off of the local establishments that you already go into. I mean, this is some good stuff. So when I look at this over here, versus essential, these are essential products and services versus optional. Which one would you pick? Which one? Would you go with side A or side B? It's a no-brainer. And that's just one of the reasons why we do this business. 
I want to tell you if, you, if you are looking for an opportunity, you got the right place. We're here to help you. You don't have to do it by yourself. You, this is, you don't have to feel like you're being experimented on. Uh, we're not beta testing on you. We're not doing the Frankenstein on you. We've had a lot of success. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to go take a look at fivelinkspaysme.com, www.fivelinkspaysme.com. Y'all see that? Those of you who are watching on Facebook Live, www.l-i-n-x-p-a-y-s-m-e.com. Use that video to just share it. Go take a look at it. That video will explain 95% of what we do, how we do it, and how we get paid. Lastly, you can invite a friend onto this same phone call as a replay. They can listen to this same call later on today, tonight, 10 hours from now, they can listen to this call. There's the number, 641-715-3669, and then the, the PIN code is 885-200-POUND. So that is, that's if you want the replay of this call, you can listen to it over and over again. We build this business as a team. We will help you build it. We will help explain it to other people so you're not trying to figure it out on your own, right? That's what makes it so easy. You know, I made a substantial income in this business before I even understood all of the details. Lastly, if you wanna email me, if you're on this call right now and somebody has already introduced you to this business opportunity, I'm gonna tell you, sign up with them. We will support you nevertheless, whoever's team you're on, whoever invited you out, whatever city or state or country that you are on, we will be here every Monday through Friday. But I want you to know that you have support. And if you need mentorship, you need advice, you need help, we are here. My email address is right there. I will support you regardless of whose team you are on. I repeat, whoever's team you are. I believe that if I help enough people, God in heaven will give me a star in my crown. All right? So you can email me at run to diamond R-U-N, the number two, diamond at gmail.com. Right? My name is Thomas Felder, or you can text me at 202-409-4456. 202-409-4456. Lastly, if you have gotten on this webinar and you're just a person that's been surfing on the internet and you're looking for an opportunity, give us a call. We're here to help you. Right? And wherever you are around the country, we will teach you how to build this business on the internet. That's what makes this business so easy. That's why I don't have to dress up anymore. That's why I got jeans and a jacket and a pair of sneakers like Mr. Rogers. We get on social media and we build our business. If there's somebody out there, you live in a cold place and you wanna get people that live in Florida in your business, social media is the way to do it. If you live in a hot place, you wanna get people in a cold place, or you wanna get people any place, social media is the way to build this business. You can cut and paste your way to financial freedom. So if you want information on how to build your business on the internet, contact us. You can text me at 202-409-4456, or you can email me at runtodiamond at gmail.com. I wanna tell you that we're coming to Philadelphia. We'll be in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on May 3rd. May 3rd, which is Tuesday, May 3rd. We're coming your way to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I'm just gonna post a little flyer for those of you who are watching on Facebook. There's the flyer. I'm bringing the Army Brigade with me. I'm bringing Ray Hendrickson. I'm bringing Mariko Turner. I'm bringing Nikki McDonald. I'm bringing Chuck and Pam Coleman. I'm bringing George Quay out. We're bringing the Philly leadership team. They are number one in the business. If you are in Philadelphia, you, there's no reason you can't win in this business. We have the best leadership in our entire company is in the Philadelphia area. So on Tuesday, May 3rd, we're gonna be at the Atrium Executive Center at the GSB Building, 1 Belmont Avenue on the 8th floor in Bala, C-Y-N-W-D, Pennsylvania, 19004. It's two minutes outside of Philly. If you got to get there by bike or by train or by airway or trailway, just get there if you can. Lastly, our big event, we have a humongous event coming up on May 22nd. May 22nd, all trains, all planes head to St. Louis, Missouri. We're gonna be in St. Louis following our national event. 
We have a national event in St. Louis on May 19th, 20th, 21st. But hang around for the 22nd because we have an eight hour Interversity Platinum Boot Camp. It is for eight hours. It is so incredible that we are flying a guy in from uh, Thailand, one of the six people to ever generate over a billion dollars in sales. How many of y'all ever been with a guy or been around a person who's generated over a billion dollars in sales? This would be the second person in my lifetime that I've been around that has generated over a billion dollars in sales. So we're going to be in St. Louis. If you want more information about our St. Louis event for eight hours, you're welcome to join us. We will teach you how to do this business and we will teach you how to teach other people how to do this business. I enjoy y'all. I can't believe they paid me for this. We do this every single day. And lastly, I want to tell you that I want you guys to come on out to Earth Fruits, right? And they're gonna have happy hour, healthy happy hour on Saturday, April 30th, and they're gonna have free yogurt at Earth Fruits, bananas, free yogurt. Y'all want to get alternative to ice cream and, and cupcakes and Twinkies and pizza? You can get something low fat, no fat, fat free, and actually free free, <laughs> right? Who could ask for anything more? So those of you who are listening by telephone, uh, on Facebook, we are, we are posting a flyer on Saturday, April 30th from 12 to 1. Come by Earth Fruits Yogurt at the Fairwood Green Center at 12530 Fairwood Parkway, Bowie, Maryland. And we're going to have a health expert here by the name of Brent Bass, a certified health coach, is going to be here giving expert advice so you can achieve optimal health. And I'm telling you, this guy is second to none in the business. You need to come on out, support the event, bring your wife, bring your kids, bring your your. You bring anybody who you think needs to lose some weight and gain some muscle. That should be everybody you know, including you. And the ice cream here is free for one hour. <laughs> Saturday, April 30th from 12 to 1. Take a look at the flyer. I'll be looking for you there. I'm happy. I'm excited. I don't know what more I can say. Hopefully somebody's life today would change. Somebody changed my life by inviting me to take a look at this business. It was four years and four months ago that I said that I would look at the presentation for 30 minutes. Who knew that 30 minutes would turn into more than four years and change my life so incredibly? When I first saw the business, I had a Honda Odyssey minivan, and now I have a Bentley Continental GT. God is good. And he's still in the, the miracle working business. If you need a miracle, get back to the person who invited you on the call and just say, I've seen the video, I've been on the webinar, I heard the call, I'm interested, what's next? With that being said, everybody, my name is Thomas Felder, Platinum Senior Vice President on behalf of myself, my business partners, Mariko Turner and Ray Hendrickson, and my newest business partner, the owner of Healthy, Happy Earth Fruits Yogurt. I look forward to you guys joining us on the beaches of the world, if not at the beach, at the bank. But more importantly than any beach or any bank, I look forward to seeing you guys at the gates of the kingdom. For what would it profit us to gain the whole world and to lose our own soul? So until I meet you and greet you, walk with the king today and be a blessing. This call and this Facebook Live is officially over. Oh, by the way, if anybody wants this, this recording live, just become my friend on Facebook or go to Tips by Thomas on Facebook and we'll post the, the recording every day so you guys can grab it. So just go to Tips by Thomas on Facebook, become my friend or like on that page. You can always grab a copy even if you're not my friend on Facebook. God bless. This call is officially over. Uh, yes, that's what I was going to talk to him about. So we got to get together. Um, What's that? Uh, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, we got to get together tomorrow. Cause tomorrow it's still uploaded. Your, uh, Can you frame uh, it? Yeah. It's yeah. still uploaded. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's still uploaded.